it's Kelly, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. This is going to be our first unboxing. I bought this on eBay. I'm going to buy it now. And for a six-foot Evergleam on the eBay market, it was somewhat reasonable. However, it was one of those auctions where the seller doesn't show it out of the box, which is all too common. Um, but I saw the model name, Swirl, and I thought I would take a chance. So let's see what we got. Ta-da! Evergleam. Whoop! The box panel just fell off. Swirl. Very unusual. All right, this is pretty much all I saw from the auction. They did say it was complete. All right, the foil on the pole is loose, but almost all here. That's not bad. You can use a little spray adhesive and doctor that up. The sleeves are in excellent shape. That's what you want to see. Hardly any crimping on the end. I mean, just great shape. Um, the stand, also fabulous. It's got all the feet. Um, a little crack there. Pretty normal. Um, so that's nice. Now let's talk about the branches. The Evergleam Swirl is an interesting specimen because it's Evergleam's answer to a non-straight needle tree. Metal trees, corp, and revless, all made swirls, and a few others. And um, this is just a really great example of the level of competition. If one company was doing something, another company was going to offer a product to compete with it directly. And so the Evergleam Swirl is very unusual. I don't see them come up too often, which is why I took a chance on this one. However, these branches have been stored in the sleeves backwards, which gives you this look with the needles going this way toward the stem. They should be kind of going like this. And then, of course, this sad situation here. Um, this can be restored with a lot of work. Um, I'm willing to do it. And when it is restored, it should be a very stellar example of an Evergleam swirl. In spite of this major problem that this tree has, it has a lot going for it. It's very fresh, shiny, it's clean. The needles seem to have a lot of integrity. The winding on the rod on every branch I've looked at so far is super tight. That's a huge plus. Uh, so, but we do have a major restoration project. I'm going to do one branch now just to show you the difference of what can be done. Um, I have two trees at least ahead of this for a complete restoration, but, um, stand by. Let me see what I can do with a branch and, um, show you what a little love and patience can do. This is about 15 minutes worth of devotion to this tree. And as you can see, we have the swirl action going that we are looking for. And that is what we started with. That's where I stopped. It's a lot of work. But it's an Evergleam swirl. Thank you for joining me in the aluminum forest today. For this episode of Talking Trees. I hope you will leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more to come. And if you have an unboxing story, I would love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more from the Aluminum Forest. Cheers! Yeah.